Today on Live at 4 Milwaukee, police are searching for the driver in a hit and run on the city's north side, leaving a 15 year old boy with very serious injuries. Sean Gallagher joins us now live at that intersection of Fairmount and Tatonia, where this crash took place. And Sean, you were able to obtain some surveillance video from a local business? Yeah, the video is not outstanding, but the owner of Brothers Auto here behind me on Santonio hopes that whatever it is can help the police find out who hit this boy this morning. Now, just before 740 AM, you can see the boy walking east on Fairmount and you can see cars whizzing by on Tatonia. The boy's feet visible in the top of the frame, waiting his turn to cross the street. Now, you don't see the actual accident occur, but multiple cars stop and you can see other people running towards where the victim is to help. Now, Imad El Khalifa says he didn't witness anything outside of his shop this morning, and he thought that this was just one of the many accidents that he hears about on Tatonia. But when he found out it was a hit and run involving a young boy, he knew he had to try and help. I hope my, uh, I can help on this situation. I hope we can be able to see the cars and we can be able to track it and police take care of it and we stop that person. Because when you tell me the, the kids does not do good, it, it hurt me. It hurt me as a, as a father. It hurt me as a, in any way. I'm going to help. I'll try. Now, it's just after 4 o'clock, and cars are just absolutely flying here down to Tonia. It's pretty dangerous, as we've seen people try to cross this street all day. And I spoke with the father of this boy earlier today. He did not want to go on camera, but I spoke to him. He says his son in very serious condition, but he is hopeful that he'll pull through. Live on the north side of the city of Tatonia and Fairmount, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4. All right, Sean, we'll keep an eye on this story.